Hello guys, today we're going to be drawing another fake Pokemon, and today's fake Pokemon is a fake fire type starter called Muso. So anyway, here's how to draw Muso step by step. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go up here on our paper and make a little curve. Now the curve, we're going to swoop right here make like a little butt go down and make a straight line up till about here now we're gonna go up like this until then we're gonna round for his little snout now if you need to fix anything like this if it looks kind of weird, you can make your turns a little more curvy, too. So next, we're going to draw a line right here for his snout. Then, really hard with our pencil, do a little smiley face and a little nose. And then you're going to shade this in. Alright, the next step we're going to do is this tail. So right here we're going to go up, a little pointy triangle, a little pointy triangle, a little pointy triangle, and then down. And the next step we're going to do is his feet. So we're going to go down and a little bit like that, two like them in the back, and then two more up in the front. Alright, so the next step is going to be his ears, so you're going to go like about right here and do a little upside down long U and the same thing right here. You can make them shorter or longer, but it really doesn't matter. Alright, and the final drawing step is his little eye right here, which is just going to be a dot. Alright, now we're going to take out our crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever you t color with, and start the coloring. Alright, so Muso's, I split it up into two parts. His ears, his tail, and feet are all going to be red, and his body's going to be orange, so we're going to start with coloring the body. So take out your orange coloring tool and start coloring the body. Or if you want to make it your own colors, that's fine. Make your own custom shiny muso or whatever you want to do. Do you ever make shiny muso? No. I should. And if it looks a little messy, don't feel bad if you have to go over again. And kind of fix up the spots you do. And remember, if you use pencil, you can take your pencil and erase some of the crayon parts you don't like. Alright. And if you're ready, you can start coloring his ears, tail, and feet with red. So, let me get my red crayon. And you can start coloring. 